Hello guys and welcome to my breaking point graphics settings guide. And uh, this video is gonna be about how I set up my graphic and hopefully you will learn something from it and uh, optimize your own system to your personal feel. Right, if we start with pressing escape and configure and video, you're gonna see this little thing up here what which says FPS. Uh, as you can see, I have around 60, 65, with a small drop down to 40 for some reason. Um, and this is actually my settings. Uh, I do sampling at 100% because you don't you don't need more than 100%. That's just stupid. It doesn't do anything. You can't see it. Uh, but if you lower this. Uh, it will look shit. So <laughs> whatever you do, leave this, uh, this at 100%. Wh whatever settings you do. So leave the sampling alone. At textures, I go with high, cause this is how it looks like if I go lower than high. Uh, so have a look at this bush over here. <laughs> it looks more like a green cloud than a bush. And as you can imagine, low is worse. So keep it at least at high settings. Because that makes it m look more like a bush. Objects, low, cause. What it does is, as you can see over here, on the grass. We put it on low, the grass disappears. Put it on standard, it's there. We put it on high. We put it on very high. We put it on ultra. It doesn't really matter. So, I'm gonna use the low settings because I don't have the need to see the grass. And if there's a player crawling somewhere and think he's hiding in the grass, well, he's not because I can see him. Some, some people might consider it as a sheet, but I would consider it as an advantage. Because they're probably gonna have most of the players gonna do it low because of the grass. Alright, terrain. I got standard because nothing's really matter here. So if you have a look at the dirt here, that's the only thing that matters. And it doesn't really, really affect your FPS as you can see. It's still up at a, around 60. So I'm going to stick it standard there. Uh, shadows. I have never experienced a game where I could actually use shadows. So I want to have it disabled, but the game looks crappy like that and doesn't really affect your FPS. So I'm just go at low, keep it to the minimum and uh, make it look a little bit better. Particles. Quality of particle effects. I don't really know what this is, but I'm gonna have it low because it takes less on your computer and I have no idea what it does. So, uh, right, the clouds. The clouds on the sky. Do we need them? We can set it at ultra and watch the FPS. It dropped like three or four frames. Uh, but does it look different? I don't really think so. Not really. So I'm gonna have that low as well. Picture in picture. Um, that is when you're, let's say you're in a car and you have back mirrors. So that is the actual picture in the picture. I leave it at standard because <laughs> this game doesn't have many vehicles. And if you're actually uh, if you actually happen to find a vehicle in breaking point, um, it doesn't gonna, it doesn't matter at all. So le just leave it at standard. It doesn't really matter. So you, you, you'll never be in a car that much that you need to switch it around. 
HDR, high dynamic range lightning quality. I put it at low because I haven't seen the use of it yet. And um, the lower we go, the higher FPS. Dynamic lights, number of dynamic lights, low or standard. I don't know what that does either. So I just left it at standard because, oh, sorry, low. I, I should have it low because, as I said, more FPS, less thinking in the computer. All right, let's go to the visibility. Uh, what I do here is go on the overall, uh, 1636, objects, 1204, and shadows, 100. Uh, what this is, um, overall is overall environment drawing distance so that's actually how far you you're gonna be able to see um, that actually um, affects your computer quite much on performance because if you if you're running into an let's say a big town and there's a lot of stuff in there it's gonna take every little thing in there and put into your computer at once uh, as you can just imagine, um, lesser object, more FPS. And uh, I put mine at 1636. And that's just because you'll never, ever gonna shoot longer than 1.6, 1.5 even. That's one and a half kilometer. So if you actually <laughs> snipe someone from that distance, you're quite good. Um, so I just keep it at 1.6. Just because I figure out no one's gonna be able to shoot me for over that distance, and I can see quite far. Uh, and I'm go I'm sure as hell not gonna shoot anyone <laughs> uh, on that range. And object, object drawing distance affected by overall visibility. So uh, I have it in one point two, one thousand two hundred four meters. Uh, that 4 isn't really accurate, so that just comes in place automatically. Um, what this does is, uh, let's say in that building over there, if we had like a weapon crate outside. <coughs> and that weapon crate, or that building, is 1300 meters from me, I wouldn't be able to see it. But... Uh, there's not really if, if it were I wouldn't probably not be able to see it anyway so uh, yeah this is just my personal preference as I'd say so I'm I'm not gonna go further into that uh, because that that's just the way it is I don't need to see it when I'm further away than this and shadows as I said earlier when we set up the shadows on low um, there's no need for great shadows in this game all right let's jump over to the display i'm running in windowed mode right now but that's just so i could record this uh, a little bit easily easier uh, but i usually play at full screen window we can try that out by the way and that doesn't really look good at all now it does um, it did affect my FPS some. Let's see if I switch back. Yeah, it does affect my FPS a little bit. And if we go full screen... I'm getting one or two more FPS. So that that's not... Don't bother too much about that. Let's go back to window mode and interface small all right uh resolution when i play in windowed mode i do 1600 by 900 uh, because i don't know it's just a personal preference uh, i don't like to have it there's a play by the way i like to have it like this um so that i can uh, see stuff outside my gaming window and easily scroll to my other screen. Uh, 16 by 9 wide, you can do by 10, but I like to have by 9 because everything looks so, I don't know, 
looks like everything everything became fat and if you look at the side here I can't see all of the bush I would do like this uh, we can see the whole bush so this actually increases your view to the sides uh, but still it depends on what screen you have what you like um, and vsync disable or enabled some people um, actually need to have vsync enabled uh, and it oh shit we have a player here it's gonna kill me probably let's just speak to him well I killed him he killed me <laughs> all right guys we're back um, as you could see I found that player and we started to fight and I lost I died <laughs> so I'm at another place now as a fresh spawn as a nomad um, okay let's go back to the settings but first of all I'm gonna take out this zombie so it won't disturb us come here zombie all right let's see you didn't have anything <laughs> all right back to the settings configure video display all right we were here uh, vsync some people need to have vsync enabled because they uh, oh shit something's blowing up beside me <laughs> we need to have uh, they need to have vsync disabled uh, enabled because they will see some weird objects on the screen and uh, uh, it just looks like like a picture is flipping but whatever I use disable because I don't really need it what it does when you have it enable it like limits itself to 60 or it should at least mine's going nuts right now and disabled up to 60 <laughs> that's weird anyway uh, interface size I always use small because uh, I'm not this really don't <laughs> this doesn't look good at all so it's just in the way and I like to have it like this uh, brightness 1.3 in brightness uh, looks good during daylight um, and you can see quite good during nighttime as well gamma for some reason you can't change it anymore um, on the latest patch so we can't really do anything about that anti-aliasing and post-processing settings bring all of these settings down because they won't do you any good anyway rotation blur well if if you want the game to be unplayable while in combat leave it at max that's gonna give you <laughs> that's gonna be a sport for you then all right uh, ambient occlusion disabled caustics enabled because <laughs> it doesn't do anything as you can see I can't see any difference uh, but but this one uh, ambient occlusion uh, actually takes away some FPS so I have it disabled full screen anti-aliasing movements edges and objects uh, I don't really feel like I need to smooth in uh, like edges and objects because this uh, armor free engine uh, looks really great anyway so if you look at these rocks over here you can actually see the straight lines and that, that's actually what anti-aliasing removes if you put it on but it takes away a lot of FPS not right now but when we're in the game it would actually do that so I keep it at disabled um, so you can't actually change the ATOC then PPAA post-processing anti-aliasing I keep mo mine at FXAA standard because uh, that's that's how it looks the best and uh, gives me the most FPS um, and ANSIO filtering and this and anisotrophic filtering <laughs> quality 
of textured surfaces as shallow and angles and in the distance. Uh, that doesn't affect your FPS either. So that's why I had it at standard. But I, I tried a lot of settings here and uh, this is actually the best FPS I can get out of this game. Uh, but as I said earlier, I'm recording now, so it actually ruins my FPS a little bit. Because uh, I record to the same hard drive. Which you shouldn't do if you're a hardcore gamer. <laughs> but I'm not. So anyway, um, this was just my personal preferences of having the graphics manual. And I hope I helped you somewhat with uh, what the settings did and why you should have them like that or like this uh, so uh, I hope you can find the best FPS for your Arma free. and here's a guy let's kill him no entry okay he's dead his name wasn't even in the game Alright, uh, thanks guys, and subscribe and like, and uh, leave a comment if you like the video.